Well, my friends, apparently you can combine work with vacation. Hello, my friends. We got this Chinese heater. Pretty good, actually. Now we can pick it up for like $99. And uh, I like this display. It's pretty nice, but for some reason, whenever I press on to start, this code will appear, shows something with the glow plug, something wrongs with that. So I press it again, and then it fires up. But sometimes it would take me up to seven times press it. It's pretty handy to have this little remote. So I want to replace for now, just for experiment, with this simple switch knob. You got this, it says something manual, power on and all that. So whenever I order online, it shows that it would have this triangle connector. So simply connect and go from there. But whenever it came to me, you know, on picture it's one thing, in reality it's a little different. So I talk to them, I contact them, and they just give me a little bit money back so let's try it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna trim the lights on first the light is on so first of all gently I'm gonna bust open the wires apart I open the wires and red black and blue so positive negative and I guess through one wire so much function especially on this one good job humans you guys invented something good so I'm going to simply just shovel in, see what happens. This thing is blinking now. Let me gently click on it. Here is my heater under the seat. And there you go, Mr. Fuse. Okay, buddy, you out. And I guess to be more sure, definitely out. Okay, so no power to the heater. Man, that's a, that's a huge heater. It's a 5 kilowatt. You don't need that big. 3 kilowatt will do the job. Okay, so I connected back everything. And it's still blinking. I don't like that blinking action. I'm gonna go online, read the trouble codes, and go from there. So I did a little research and it says one two three four five six seven seven indication seven lights it indicates that broken wire i don't see any wire broken so what i'm gonna do is connect straight not through here but right into the wire so after connecting this way it still doesn't do anything already in action Okay, this blinking thing goes away. This thing now engages. Let's see what this knob doesn't give anything. Pressing, pressing, holding. Not a nothing. Okay, let's fire up with this one. Remote control, action. Boom. And this one blinking weirdly. Okay, so here is on, and whatever I'm doing here doesn't really interfere with this. Look at that, this blink, so it does interfere a little bit, but this signal is stronger to hear it than this one. So this display is gonna stay on, and it's gonna drain your battery. So I was gonna go with a simple knob. But it doesn't do nothing for my heater. If you guys have uh, any good experience with this thing, please let me know. Let me know what you think. And if you got it to work, please let me know also how. Maybe this is for a way different heater. But I got it and this is my experiment. And doesn't cost me much. $3 eventually. So I guess for this, in order to display goes away completely, I'm just gonna have a little switch that goes off the fuse somewhere on the side of my uh, seat. I'm gonna turn off. 
If I'm not gonna use this car for like a weeks or something like that, then turn on back and hit her back. I'm gonna be working. Okay, my friends, so stay tuned for <laughs> new future experiments and all that. Please like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. So I would simply disconnect from the connector this display and put it away and I would notice that on a hot day the fan on the heater would spin on, the, on its own I don't know maybe it's pre-programmed to cool down the system